Hey everyone, I'm Kenna from the sustainability team at Razer, your general sustainability nerd. Today at the World Environment Day, I'll be answering your questions on sustainability at Razer and why it's important to us. So first of all, I want to thank everyone for your questions across Twitter, Facebook and the rest of social media. So with that out of the way, let's start with the first question. So question number one from Ducky Ria. What does Razer do in order to contribute towards an eco-friendly future? How do you plan to improve in the future? Uh, I'm not very sure if you're already aware, but at Razer, we have the Sneaky Snake partnership with Conservation International. It's actually part of our 10-year sustainability plan called Go Green with Razer. Basically, the plan is actually to help preserve nature and do our part to protect the environment. And together with the Razer community, we have helped to protect around 4,000 acres of forest, which is roughly around the size of 3,000 American football fields. And we actually celebrated protecting a million trees just in March, which was just two months ago. So how it works, it's for every Sneaky Snake merch sold, Razer will be donating a part of proceeds to support the conservation international work to protect forests globally. It's really awesome because Snakey Stick just started off as Doodle by one of our designers and here we are, Snakey Stick is helping us create a more sustainable future. And we invite you to join us for the next milestone which is to save 10 million trees globally. Question number two from the Crazy Lim who asks, other than pledging to planting more trees, what other sustainable causes would Razer intend to work towards? Okay, so apart from hitting our million tree safe milestones with Conservation International, we are also the first consumer electronic brands to sign the Deep Sea Mining Monitorium to protect deep sea minerals. As you probably already know, the ocean scented ecosystem provides major benefits for people and economies around the world. People depend on it for food, for livelihood, income generation, and even climate regulations. But however, the oceans is already impacted by a lot of factors such as climate change, overfishing, pollution, habitat destruction, acidification. And this is why we want to sign a moratorium against deep sea mining as a commitment not to source minerals from deep sea bed or partake in any mining activities. So in addition to this, we want to let you know that we have already announced our Go Green Razor 2030 roadmap last year. This includes greater transparency in our product environmental footprint starting from this year. And by 2025, all our corporate offices will be powered by only renewable energy sources. And last but not least, by 2030, all products will be incorporating recycled or recyclable materials. We are also actively investing in environmental and sustainability startups. You probably know of our first investment, Bambulu, and we also help startups in design partnerships such as Clearbot, which helps to clear ocean plastics waste. The Chosen One 29, the new, okay, asks, will you be making eco-friendly packaging soon? Um, I just want to let you know that the product packaging that you receive for your products are actually packed using uh, FSC certified material and it's biodegradable brown boxes. Uh, we have printed it with uh, eco-friendly soy ink so it's more recyclable with the packaging and you'll be uh, rest assured there is actually no chlorine or heavy metals with the packaging. Safe for use. Murat asks, peripheral recycling programs? Uh, we do actually have this offering at Razer Store. So we say in an unlikely event that your mouse passes away you can of course reach out to the Razer support by email or chat uh, if your mouse is within our two-year warranty period. But for example, if you have upgraded to Basilisk V3 and you don't want your older mouse anymore, you can definitely recycle your mouse with us through our Razer store or our partner recyclers DNA where we can repurpose your mounts for extended life in a brand new product. Um, I think recycling really matters because everything is made from something. So pursuing a circular economy, we are respecting all the materials, the labour, and of course the carbon emission that went into producing all these wonderful products. It takes resources to make a brand new product out of brand new material. So ideally, we should always be looking to reuse material from recycled products. And one of the first steps that we can do is to make it easier for people to recycle things. That's why we make it available for you to recycle uh, your products at Razer Store. So remember folks, do not throw away our electronics. Please recycle them properly because there are a lot of valuable materials that can be reused and repurposed to a brand new product. Um, Manik asks, what is Razer doing to contribute to a decrease in the e-waste problem that we have nowadays? I just want to say that it's really awesome to see there's a growing awareness and concern about e-waste amongst the gaming community. So this is why in Razer we have another design principle behind our products for extended lifespan because a longer lifespan means a lower footprint. Uh, so first of all, as part of our 
sustainability design principle, our products are designed with additional testing procedures and higher quality components to ensure that our products have a longer lifespan. And secondly, with our recycling program, uh, we are working towards resource conservation and a circular economy. Essentially, what we should all aim for is a zero waste approach which closes the loop and promotes a circular economy. Tito Um asks, instead of throwing away products that get faulty, why not sell spare parts to use them longer and make our dear planet Earth less full of trash? Again, this is something we already offer and we're working on to get even better at. For example, our PC gaming division has a product page on Razer.com that lists spare parts. And in addition, we are also working on offering refurbished unit to extend the lifespan of pre-loved Razer products. Oh, it's the return of Crazy Lim. Hi again. Uh, Crazy Lim asks, will Razer adopt a trade-in system for old worn products to recycle that will also benefit loyal customers? For example, reward point system. Yes, and right now when you recycle your Razer products with us at the Razer store, you'll receive a voucher to get $10 off your next Razer purchase, though the amount might depend on your region. Dylan5 asks, does Razer plan on releasing an eco-friendly product line and if so, what would it entail? Fun fact, today we actually have the, our first line of eco products with our Razer Death Adder Essential and Bassless V3 which have gotten the Type 1 Eco Label certification from our independent uh, third-party verification body. So these are the two most loved minds in our gaming community and has undergone several criteria parameters to meet the Eco Label rating. And soon we'll be announcing even more eco-friendly products, so stay tuned. So, all right, that's it. Thank you for your question, everyone. We really appreciate your enthusiasm on sustainability at Razer, and I hope you learned something new. So, happy World Environment Day.